they were channels their fans flocked to, once the notification bell rang. Now they stand as memorials, a way to remember both Amon Nimadez and Lloyd Kadena. The two local YouTube stars died within weeks of each other, leaving many of their millions of loyal subscribers clinging to the years of content that they had passionately put up. This is no longer a channel, a comment read in the final video Nimadez had uploaded. This is a museum of a great person. But this begs a curious question, will this museum ever close? Will their videos be deleted sometime in the future, given the channel's inactivity? What will happen to a YouTube channel when its creator passes away? According to Google, there are two options regarding a deceased user's account. One is that YouTube will abide by the creator's plans for it, provided they had mapped one up using their inactive account manager feature. This is the best way for you to let us know who should have access to your information and whether you want your account to be deleted, Google said. The other is to have a family or a trusted representative make a request for a deceased person's account. Google wrote about this option, We recognize that many people pass away without leaving clear instructions about how to manage their online accounts. We can work with immediate family members and representatives to close the account of a deceased person where appropriate. In certain circumstances we may provide content from a deceased user's account. In all of these cases, our primary responsibility is to keep people's information secure, safe, and private. We cannot provide passwords or other login details. Any decision to satisfy a request about a deceased user will be made only after a careful review. Three requests can be made. Close the account of a deceased user. Submit a request for funds from a deceased user's account. And obtain data from a deceased user's account. Nimit has passed away last August 16th, after a battle with acute myeloid leukemia, while Kadena died this Friday, in a Facebook post. The Kadena family revealed that Lloyd tested positive for COVID-19. Lloyd was confined in the hospital on September 1st, due to high fever and dry cough. He was tested for COVID-19 on the same day, which the result came out positive on September 3rd, the post read. Its suddenness prompted an outpouring of tributes and calls to support his mother, given how Kadena has yet to pay for their new house. The house was what Kadena really wanted to give his mother who was an overseas Filipino worker, as a retirement gift. Thank you for watching. This is Michael of Creative Warriors Team, for Wonder One. Subscribe for more of Wonder One channel.